got a whole new technique of pranks. Take a phone, use a screw to pierce it through. Then, put it in water and attach it to a laptop. Don't worry, no phones were harmed in the making of this video. These are just our new safe gadget pranks. My friend's gone! Huh, it's time to prank her! I need a screw, pliers, and a hammer. It looks like I'm repairing something, but I'm actually preparing a prank with my friend's phone. Cut a long screw in half using pliers. Crush an old plastic box into pieces using a hammer. Squeeze a little medium hot glue onto a phone covered with a screen protector. Stick a piece of the screw into it, adding a few pieces of the broken plastic around it. Hot glue the second part of the screw to the phone back. The blue-eyed girl is shocked! How could you pierce a phone? You aren't Hulk, are you? But it turns out that it's just a prank. You don't need to use a screwdriver to remove the screw. It comes off easily. I'm going to prank my friend. I will take advantage of her feeling guilty. I'm going to use a phone with a fake broken screen. Crush a new glass screen protector using a hammer. Clean the phone screen with special wipes. Remove a cover from the screen protector and put it on the screen. I am giving the phone to Redhead. Oops! It falls! Butterfingers! Redhead takes the phone. Oh no! The screen is broken into pieces. The blue-eyed girl will never forgive her. Redhead will ever be thought of as a person who keeps breaking other people's things. She will not be able to deal with this shame. Well, it's time to tell her the truth. It's not the screen. It's just a broken glass protector attached to the screen. It's my revenge prank. Sometimes I feel like leaving everything behind and just sinking my phone. This is what the blue-eyed girl has done. But how? Print a picture of a phone and cover it with clear tape. Take a clear phone case, which is a bit bigger than the paper screen. Close all the holes in it. Grate a clear soap base and melt it in a microwave. Pour a bit of hot soap into the phone case. Put the paper phone picture onto it with the picture down. Add food coloring to the grated soap base. Melt it in a microwave and pour the colored liquid soap into the phone case to fill it up to the top. Take the hardened soap out of the phone case and smooth out the edges. Redhead sees the phone in water. Hurry up! It's sinking! Rescue it! But the device turns out to be soap. Nothing will happen to this phone in water. It will just lather better. And you can send soapy messages. I've got a present for my sweet tooth friend. An iPod and earphones. Sprinkle a board with starch and roll out white sugar paste. Wrap it around a long cookie of an appropriate shape. Cut off the excess. Roll out pink sugar paste. Dampen it with water to make it sticky. And wrap the cookie in white paste in it. Snip off the excess. Dip your fingers into water and smooth out the joinings. Make a rectangular hole in the upper layer. Imitate an iPod screen. Define the central button using a wide straw. Make a circle around it by pressing a cup of an appropriate size. Take off the pink ring you've got. Cut out the same ring from the white sugar paste and put it onto the front panel. Melt dark chocolate and pour it into the screen hole. Smooth out the edges using a toothpick. Define the buttons using food coloring and a toothpick and add some details with a brush. The blue-eyed girl can't understand why an iPod is in a candy vase.
and why she isn't able to turn it on. It's easy. This is a dessert. I can bite off a piece of the iPod. It might develop a good taste in music. And the earphones are having a real cable. Cover a ring cereal with white sugar paste. Shape earbuds. Make a hole for the speaker with a toothpick. Add details. Cut a cable off of broken earphones and attach our edible earbuds to it. Let the sugar paste harden. I put the sweet earphones into my ears and pretend that I listen to music. But the blue-eyed girl doesn't buy a lie that easily. She figures out at once that the earphones are not real, but pretends that she's fallen for it. Redhead wants to listen to music, but she doesn't have any headphones. It's not a problem. I'll take care of it. The funniest headphones for my friend are guaranteed. Cut one-third off a foam plastic ball. Stick it onto a toothpick and cover it with acrylic paint. Hot glue toy eyes to the flat side of the balls. Cut chenille wire into several pieces and stick them into the eyes like lashes. Wind the wire around your finger to get a spiral. And stick the eyes onto the spring wire. Hot glue the eyes to the headphones. I put my eyed headphones onto my friend's head so that she doesn't see them. She doesn't suspect anything. Poor girl, it's selfie o'clock. Redhead has such long lashes on her headphones. They are hard to fit in the shot. She strikes poses and doesn't guess she's been pranked. Well, okay, that's enough. I'll show her the headphones. But Redhead is not upset. She has a good sense of humor, so we arrange a whole photo shoot. Redhead needs a charger, but I've got something better, a beautiful snake. Take a USB cable and a toy snake slime. Glue the cable to the bottom of the snake, leaving the plugs free. Redhead is terrified of snakes, so she tosses it away. Yuck! Ghastly! But this disgusting slime sticks to the ceiling. Now I will have to jump up for taking the cable back. The blue-eyed girl performs a few acrobatic somersaults. She is ready to get her friend either the moon on a stick or the cable in a snake. My friend is painting with watercolors. She is so deep into it that she doesn't notice anything around. It's time to prank her. I take a photo of a painter's palette and make it full screen. I substitute the real watercolor palette with the phone image while my friend is distracted. The blue-eyed girl doesn't notice it. She wants to take some paint with a brush. Surprise! You can only take some pixels out of the screen protector. The blue-eyed girl is going to take a nap before an important meeting. She sets an alarm at 3 o'clock. She has to wake up in time. She can't be late. I will take care of my friend. She will never be late. I sneak into her room and set the alarm at 2.40. The blue-eyed girl wakes up when she hears the sound of the alarm, but her biological clock tells her that she can sleep a bit more. What's wrong? The alarm is set 20 minutes earlier. Apparently my phone is afraid to be late too. Redhead doesn't want to share her laptop. She shops online and wants to be the first to pick out the most beautiful dress. But I know what to do. I take out a wireless mouse and controls my friend's laptop at a distance. I guess I will buy this dress, and that one, and more. Redhead doesn't understand who picks out the dresses for her. It should be her personal stylist, but it's just her cunning friend. Redhead has a revenge prank. She's taped the blue-eyed girl's phone to her notebook. Now she will have a hard time to find it. The blue-eyed girl hears her phone ring, but doesn't understand where the sound comes from. At last, she finds her phone kidnapped by her laptop. How did it get here? And what's more, how can I make it free? 
My friend is going to leave. I will sneak a little goodbye prank in her backpack. A portable loudspeaker. Once Redhead leaves, I turn on a loud sound of explosion. Poor Redhead! She crawls in and gives up. No more prank wars from now on. Did you like our gadget pranks? Then write in your comments which devices and gadgets you choose for your pranks. And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new funny pranks on the Troom Troom channel.